Rock Show. Βραβευμένη ω η καλύτερη ροκ εκπομπή τη ελληνική επαρχία για το 2010. Η πραγματική ροκ μουσική, έτσι όπως πρέπει να ακούγεται. Rock Show με τον Γιάννη Βαρδάκη. Κάθε Δευτέρα βράδυ, μόνο στον Style 100. Rock Show is powered by Jack Daniels. So, we're, uh, I think we're reaching you somewhere in Portugal. Yes, I'm down on the south coast here. Yeah. How are you spending your time over there? I'm writing. You're writing what? Oh, uh, different things. <laughs> lots of stuff. <laughs> Not uh, too early to talk about. But yes, very busy and uh, having lots of fun. <clears throat> you're having a good time, I guess. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. <laughs> what are you working on these days? Uh, lots of different things. Yeah. Uh, except <laughs> music? Yeah, music and, and other stuff. <laughs> It's too early to talk about it. I'll, I'll talk about it when, it's, when it comes out. All right. I, I, I'm working all the time anyway. All my life I've been writing, so it's nothing different. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you had a book out uh, some months ago, huh? Smoke This? Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. What <laughs> yes. was the purpose uh, behind this? Well, originally that was going to be the gatefold for an album that was called uh, Gillen's Inn, and I was mm-hmm. going to present the, the CD or... <coughs> It was uh, together with a special edition of the Gillen's Inn? No, 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 no. Originally, I was going to present Gillen's Inn in a gatefold form, like the old vinyl records, but in the form of a book. Mm-hmm. And so when I started working with the record company, they said, look, we can do all this electronically. So we did a dual disc as well with a DVD one side and a CD mm-hmm. on the other side. So uh, all the information for the record and the artwork was included on the DVD. So... I then had all this um, other stuff that I'd written mm-hmm. in the book, and they said, okay, we'll put the book out separately. All right. All so right. it was good fun. Any new plans uh, from uh, the Deep Purple? Um, well, I don't know. We'll have a t- we're meeting up next week or the week after in Mexico, and uh, mm-hmm. I guess we'll t- we're touring. We're, we're, the tour finishes in October, I think. The Rapture tour? Yes, yeah. yes, and I, I'm assuming that... Uh, we'll be taking a little break then and then going back into the recording studio. For the new album, huh? Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. You've joined The Purple back in 69, if I can recall correctly, and uh, yes. you, you went there from the episode 6. That makes it like 39 years, a whole life. Really? What would you say to someone if he asked you to describe these years in some words? Well, um, it's a good way of spending a life. I mean, music's been a very good friend to me. Uh, since I was 17 years old, um, mm-hmm. I've been a musician. And um, it's been a great learning curve, but I think also it's, um, it changes all the time. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you change the... But this is um, the idea of being with Deep Purple. It's um, fantastic because mostly the musicians are my friends, people I've worked with for a long time. Creativity through friendship. Eh? Mm. Mm. Uh, which do you think were the best periods, the best eras of the band? Um, Of Deep Purple? Yep. Okay. I would say 69 to 72. Uh, there's one period. And mm-hmm. right now, there's the other period. Both of the best, best times for Deep Purple. What about the period of Perfect Strangers? Yeah, that was very good too, but you asked me the best time. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, there have been many, many good times, and the best times are now and 69, 70, 71. Mm-hmm. Other mm-hmm. times have also been very good and very bad, but um, mm-hmm. these are the best two times. Um, in my opinion, often Don Irie joined the Purple. It seems like the band members are really enjoying themselves. And it seems to me that there's a special wind of creativity going on there. Is this lineup really the cause of this? Yes, absolutely. The personalities work very well together. Don, as you know, is a fantastic musician. A great, yeah, yeah, it's he's great. A very good, he's, a good, he's a good chap, too. He's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's an intelligent... So you're having a good time. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Right. And I think when that spirit is there... Um, I mean, John... I mean, obviously, we all know John. He's the godfather of the band, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. but um, I think his mind was... He had one eye on Morocco, as we used to say in Poland. <laughs> How does it feel to know that your music has influenced so many people all around the world? I mean, do you feel that you have a certain burden within you? Do you feel that always there will be a lot of high expectations from you? No, they get over it. I mean, the <laughs> I think the... I, I really honestly think that the most important thing about the music is the personality. 
-hmm. If you can use music, not just as a fashion accessory or a style or look, we play this kind of music or whatever, but if your personality goes into the music, then I think it's very important. Nobody can reproduce that. Everyone takes the, 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 the framework, if you like, or the influence, mm -hmm. the, the image-wise influence, but um, they have to do it their own way, and that's what I think um, every musician does. They, right. they rely upon their own inner feelings you know, to uh, express the music. Yeah. Did, uh, <laughs> did the Rapture tour met your expectations? Did Rapture? Oh, yes, I, I love it. I, I think that it's... It, it was a great progression from Bananas, um, mm -hmm. which was very political, and uh, Rapture was very spiritual. I mean, obviously, it's a personal judgment. You shouldn't ask me that question. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 the, every record I've ever made, they're like my, my children, you know, like babies. <laughs> some are good, some are very, very Naughty. good, and some are very, very bad. <laughs> I mean, to, uh, to years but, ago, but we love them all. <laughs> yeah, of course. Your babies, always. Mm. <laughs> Two years ago, if I'm correct, I saw you in a concert at our place here in Heraklion, Crete. Do you have any plans of touring again in other cities except Athens? Uh, yeah, well, apart from Thessaloniki, um, I think um, this is generally the promoters. We are, it's, it's funny, you know, in this, the, the, the great rock and roll machine, mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not really the musicians that are in charge. It's part of that music business thing. It's like the record labels and the promoters and everything else. And I think probably there was an air of great adventure back in the 60s mm. and 70s. And people would take the music. I remember the catchphrase, you know, we have to take our music to the people because they can't all come to London. They can't all come to yeah, where we are. So it's different now. That was the idea. And then I think probably something got lost during the 70s and 80s. Mm. <clears throat> so. And when I left Deep Purple, I went, I went back to this idea of going to places that we hadn't been before. And I think... I've noticed it now in France and in Italy. Um, we're playing in places that we played. Mm -hmm, God mm -hmm. knows how many concerts in France this year. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. So hopefully the promoters will get the idea that they, you don't just have to play in the capital city. Yeah, yeah. What is mostly on your CD player these days? I, my CD player? Yeah. God. What are you listening hey, these days? I don't know. I'll have to, I only put it on when... Uh, I only put it on when people come around and want to have some music. Um, I don't use the CD player. I use the radio down here in Portugal mostly. Uh -huh. uh, it's for background music. Uh -huh. um, but, you know, what's on my CD at the moment is the birds and the chickens and the dogs barking. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's better music than anything I can find. Nature. <laughs> right. yeah. uh, what's your favorite Deep Purple song? Oh, now... If you can pick uh, one... Loosen my strings. Mm -hmm. Now, if you ask me this question tomorrow, I'll give you a different answer. <laughs> yeah, I'm Just sure about. I'm sure about it. <laughs> yeah. And what's uh, what's your favorite all-time song? If you have a, a one particular song that you're fond of very much, uh, well, you by any artist? I don't know. Oh, I don't understand the question. A Deep Purple song? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Of all kinds of music. My God. What's you know, I think when you're a child, you have favorite songs, favorite pet, favorite color, favorite pop star, favorite footballer. But when you get older, you have a broader taste. But my favorite song, I suppose, was the one that inspired me to get into uh, rock and roll, I suppose, Heartbreak Hotel. Heartbreak Hotel. Mm. Mm -hmm. you, you've met Elvis? No, unfortunately, I haven't. Mm -hmm. uh, you have traveled all over the world and... You have given numerous concerts almost everywhere, right? Yes. Can you recall one best and one worst time ever in your career in stage, on stage? Something that you have in your well, mind always? I mean, it's, always, it's nothing to do with the music ever. The, 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 the problems are always when people get hurt or when there's some natural tragedy. I, 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 I suppose one of the worst ones was in... Um, in, in Santiago in Chile when the lighting rig collapsed when everyone rushed into the stadium and climbed up and uh, mm -hmm. that was pretty horrible. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, nobody died, but there were some injuries. Uh, yeah. Obviously, um, <coughs> I think uh, the best one was probably one of the funniest ones was Live 8 in Canada mm -hmm. a couple of years ago. I normally work barefoot, barefoot without any shoes and uh, we went on to do Highway Star and I rushed out onto the stage mm -hmm. in my bare feet and I realized... I was catching on fire. The stage was so hot, <laughs> metal. So I was hopping up and down behind the drum kit, trying to put some shoes on while singing Highway Star. It was uh, <laughs> extremely funny. All right. Any message 
you know, the classic. Any message to the Greek fans? You know there yeah, are a lot. Of course, I love it there. We have many friends in Greece, and I always look forward to coming there because uh, we have such a good time. Thank you so much for your support. It's a new year now, and I hope you all have a fantastic time, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in the future. Right. Uh, Ian, I want to thank you very much for this interview. Thank I you wish much. you the best with your projects. Thanks, John. Anything that you do. Thank and you. you know that Rock Show will always promote your music. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks a lot and have a nice time there. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Thank you.